Hey, future small business owners, welcome to the podcast. This is going to be the first episode of 30 to 35 episodes and where we're going to walk you through taking your new business idea from concept to open for business. With over half of small businesses failing in the first few years and 90% failing within the first 10 years, our mission is how do we help you set the stage early so you hit the ground running. Way too often, small business owners just start selling and doing what it is that they do without doing any of the homework that they probably should have done prior to opening. As a matter of fact, if you ask any small business owner who's been in business for a while, what they wish that they would have done before they opened or when they first started, they're going to go over a lot of the things that we're going to cover in the next few episodes of this podcast. Remember, this is about giving yourself a solid foundation in which to build upon. Because if you build your business on unsolid ground, you are taking a risk that it is shaky and it is going to fall down. Now I am going to warn you, I'm going to use a lot of examples of local businesses in our community. The reason that I do that is I have a passion for the smaller business owner that are in our cities and towns, because without them, we could not keep our cities humming along. And I also feel they are the most neglected and forgotten small business owner, yet they are one of the most important that we have out there. However, the things that I go over will work in any type of business. So while online businesses might be sexier, believe it or not, they pretty much will follow the exact same pattern as their small business owners in the communities in order to set yourself up for success. Now, a little quick background. I have been a small business owner myself since 2008. Prior to that, I had about 25 years in big box retailing. And when I became a small business owner, one of the things that I realized is how much we had in common, even though size was very different. So I've been on a mission through my other podcast, Badass Business Owners, to share all those tips and tricks so that small business owners like yourself can be just as successful as the larger businesses. So if you want to learn how to continue to grow once you open the business, don't forget to go check out the Badass Business Owner Podcast. Now here's the thing. So many small business owners end up creating jobs for themselves versus an actual business. And here's the thing. You need to make sure that you get something in your head right away. You are a business owner. You happen to clean carpets. You are a business owner, you happen to build fences. Whatever business you are thinking about opening, you just happen to do that. Yes, you are the main employee of that business, at least in the beginning, but you are a business owner first and it's important that your mindset is correct. So even if you're making candles, you own a candle making business, not that you're a candle maker. Make sure that, that you have that really drilled into your head from the very beginning. It's going to help set you up for success. Another thing that's really important is understanding your business numbers. And in one of our future episodes, we're going to talk about numbers in a couple of different episodes to give you a solid foundation on how that's going to work. My main mission is the more information you have, the more you dive in, the better you're going to come out to shoot, like I said, from the get go. Now, what you can expect in this podcast is we're going to go over a bunch of different areas of your small business. Most of you you're probably going to zip through them. Make sure that you focus on the ones that are especially key to starting the business. And that's going to be the one on doing your research as well as your business numbers. And since everybody learns a little bit differently, I just want to let you know, there is a YouTube channel called Badass Small Business Owners, where I'll visually show you how to do some of the things that we're going to be talking about. Also in the show notes is a startup guide that will walk you through all the different steps so that you can try to keep notes. And since this is just a quick introductory episode, let's go ahead and dive into the first episode where we really start to get to the meat of the whole thing, which is creating what business it is that you want to create. I'll see you in the next one.